Welcome, fume heads, to the Sephora Challenge wrap up. Let's get this started. Alright, so first off, let's do a little background on the Sephora Challenge. The Sephora Challenge was uh, me wearing a different fragrance every day from Sephora. Uh, for a month, the month of December, and reporting back nightly with my thoughts on the scent and sometimes my family's thoughts as well. And this video here is a wrap up video showcasing the highlights of uh, some of the great fragrances I found last month. Fragrances that I would feel comfortable recommending to other people. Now, this video is not going to contain uh, a bunch of other great fragrances that could be mentioned from Sephora because this is only focusing on uh, the fragrances that were a part of my Sephora challenge and the fragrances I'm going to mention in this video I will have a link down uh, below this video to all of those videos plus all of the videos all the fragrances that I have not mentioned and actually I'm kind of surprised by the results of last month I did not think I was going to find so many great fragrances last month, not as many as I did. And the number of fragrances I'm going to be talking about today is 16. 16 out of 31, that's more than half. <laughs> so I'm very surprised by that number, which is awesome. Very pleasant surprise. Great month last month was, not only in fragrance exploration, but by the participation by all of you out there. What a fun month it was, commenting back and forth, reading everyone's thoughts on the fragrances. In fact, when the month was over, I was kind of sad. I was kind of lonely. I was crying. Where was everybody? <laughs> uh, but it is what it is. All good things have to come to an end. So, these fragrances today are in no particular order. One through 16, gonna go through them fast. Quick descriptive words. If you like to learn more about them, follow the links down below. But without further ado, let's get this started. At number one, I've got Yves Saint Laurent Slum. And with this one, what we have is a creamy, fresh, woody, sweet and spicy scent. Touch of apple. Ah, love this stuff. Excellent. At number two, I've got Givenchy's Play. And what we have here is a fresh, green, woody, citrus scent. Number three, Givenchy's Play Intense. Uh, we've got a creamy, cocoa, woody fragrance here. Number four, Givenchy's Play Sport. And with this one, we've got citrus, mint, and musk. Now, with the Givenchy Play series, I would feel comfortable recommending these to the younger crowd. High school, college age, anybody can really wear the scents, but... The way the presentation is with the bottle design and the whole mp3 music player type thing, it really, really fits into the high school, college category. Excellent stuff uh, for you guys to check out. Now, number five, I have got Gucci by Gucci Pour Almond. What a damn pleasant surprise. This one was uh, Tobacco Green Woody Fragrance. Loved it. Number six, I've got Tom Ford for Men. A mature woody tobacco green boozy scent. Uh, number seven, Tom Ford Extreme. A mature woody earthy fruity type of scent. Both of those Tom Fords, man. I can't say enough about. Excellent. Uh, number eight, Boss Bottled. Wow, what an awesome scent this is. No wonder why it's got so much love. Uh, sweet and creamy, woody, cinnamon, and apple scent. Number nine, I've got Lacoste Style and Play. Green, woody, fruity scent. Number 10, Polo Double Black. Fruity, tropical, creamy, green, woody, excellent. Ladies loved it. <laughs> Number 11, Unjardin Serlanel by Hermes. Uh, what you got here? Vegetal. Tomato, floral, green. Yes, I said tomato. <laughs> this fragrance uh, definitely smells like a tomato, so you gotta love your vegetables if you wanna love this scent. <laughs> uh, excellent stuff to look into. Uh, number 12, Cannabis Santal. Excellent stuff. Not really heavy in the cannabis, but heavy in excellence. Uh, you've got patchouli, plum, sandalwood, and chocolate. Awesome stuff. 
Uh, number 13, Tom Ford's Noir. A classy, powdery, sweet, animalic, masculine fragrance. Number 14, Gentlemen Only by Givenchy. Green, woody, spicy, peppery scent. Awesome stuff. Uh, number 15, Gucci Guilty Black. Green, spicy, woody, lavender. Uh, very pleasing scent. Number 16, last but not least, Armani Code Ultimate. Powdery, creamy, almy, anise type of scent. Excellent. I'm surprised that one is not talked about more. Now, to wrap things up, let's talk about the biggest loser, Polo Green. <laughs> That stuff to me smells like death. Sm smells like an old man who's got one foot in death's door, man. <laughs> that one was an absolute pass. And if someone asked me uh, if I could only choose one bottle from last month, what would it be? I had to think hard. It's very, very, very tough choice. So many of these that I really, really love. But if I could only walk away with one bottle, it would be Tom Ford's Extreme. Oh, but boy, they were contenders, man. Uh, Gucci by Gucci, poor home. Uh, gentlemen only. I don't know. I could just keep going on and on. But if I could only have one, Tom Ford Extreme, I think, would win it for today anyways. Uh, but that's it. Thanks, everyone, for all the participation. Uh, thanks for tuning in. You guys take care, and we'll see you soon.